uh, another topic I want to discover is uh, uh, how do we deal with systems of conservation laws. So system of conservation laws, like in Navier-Stokes equation, we have uh, uh, the density derivative uh, plus the divergence of the density flux, which is rho u, right? equal to zero. I mean, this is the old equation. I didn't write the viscous terms. And the um, derivative of the momentum, which is also conserved, is going to be a divergence of rho u and u plus p uh, times uh, and it is so. So this is a, a really a tensor because uh, because I'm looking at the conservation of momentum, which is a vector itself, and uh, the divergence of this flux has to be a vector, right? So this inside has to be a tensor. This identity is going to be a tensor, uh, has to be equal to zero. And then you have conservation of energy, and the energy flux is rho ue plus the work done by the pressure terms, which is p times u. So you have these equations that forms really the the backbone of the Navier-Stokes equation. Yes. Rho u u plus the pressure times the identity tensor. Right. So so that's a that's the momentum flux through the action of the pressure. Right. How, how much force the pressure is uh, uh, doing on the boundary that contributes to the conservation of momentum. And uh, this is how much work the pressure is doing that contributes to the conservation of energy. Yeah? Can you explain what the identity tensor is? Oh, the identity tensor is uh, basically uh, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Right. So. It's like a quantification? Yes, right. Because uh, uh, we have a Velocity, velocity, so these are outer product, these are not inner products. So we get a 3 by 3 tensor over here, we need to add this uh, by a 3 by 3 tensor, right? All right. Okay, so, so uh, a lot of conservation laws are conservation laws like that. If you write this down uh, in a conserved form, you usually have something like partial u as a vector, partial t, plus the divergence of flux as a tensor, which is a function of u, equal to zero. So, so written uh, in, a, in a vector form, it's something like this. And then, this kind of equation no longer have a single dfdu, right? So remember in our uh, in our analysis of characteristics, we look at space-time, and we have char characteristics where uh, the the slope of which is dfdu, right? Delta x over delta t is dfdu. Now, our f is a a tensor, right? I mean, even even in one D, so even even this is a single spatial dimension, right? So even in one D, we have a we have f being a uh, vector. So f even in 1D is a vector function of the vector unknown. So what is dfdu in our case? dfdu actually uh, properly should be written as partial, partial f partial u. It's actually a matrix, right? It's actually a multi-dimensional matrix in the Navier-Stokes equation because this is three equations, one equation, one equation. This dfdu, uh, even let's say dfxdu, like looking at just the one, the flux in one spatial dimension, is a five by five matrix. Right, uh, five by five matrix. So, now we have a matrix, what determines the speed of the characteristics, what determines which direction the waves are moving. The determinant. The determinant would only have one value, right? It's the eigenvalues, right? It's the eigenvalues of this matrix that determines 
which way the waves are moving, not just a single wave in this case. So it turns out if you do this analysis for a Navier-Stokes equation with ideal gas laws, the the, the lambdas for this equation would turn out to be, for example, in the x direction, the lambdas would be equal to ux plus c. You have a duplicate eigenvalue, ux, 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 duplicated three times, and ux minus c. Okay, so that means there is one wave that is going at the speed of flow plus c plus speed of sound, the one that is going speed of uh, the flow minus speed of sound, there are two sound waves, and there are three eigenvectors carried out at exactly the flow speed. Do you have a question? Uh, why is there a 5 by 5 here? Because the u is 5 dimensional and fx is also 5 dimensional. We have a density conservation equation, we have three momentum conservation equations, and one energy conservation. Right? Okay, so that means the flux also has to be five dimensional in both x and y and z directions. Right? So if you write down the same matrix for Fy, you would have Uy plus C, Uy, 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 and Uy minus C. So these are what the waves are doing. Right? I mean these three duplicate uh, Two of them are actually advecting the velocity in the other directions, and the one is advecting the entropy of the flow. So, so you, you, you still can do this kind of analysis, and uh, nowadays we have things like mathematical or symbolic toolboxes, and you can pretty easily look at the eigenvalues of matrices like that. Unlike old days, you may actually spend a whole PhD doing analysis to figure out these kind of things.